it's been so many great things going on for you in your life because you were nominated for a Grammy and a Golden Globe for your stand-up special. Like, like a Wednesday for me. Oh yeah, look at that. How does that feel? Amazing. <laughs> I, I'm so grateful. I just, I just don't know how many tight dresses and high heels are in my future. You sound like me. I can't do it. Okay, so like, how was the Golden Globes? It was, it was, it was fun. And I, I don't want to come off as jaded because I get so excited. Like, I watch so much TV. I, oh, that's my boyfriend Rory. He's Thank so you. handsome. Hi, Rory. And uh, <laughs> he, he, uh, he. Um, I love TV, I love movies, I love seeing all the celebrities, and it's so fun. Um, but I just, I don't know what's happened to me. I just want to be home. You sound like me. I went to no parties. <laughs> I had friends there. Oh, we're going to go. I just, I go, do you care if we just go home? He goes, whatever you want. I go, let's order paquito mas mm. and have it be delivered by the time mm. we're home in pajamas. I was so happy to be home. I just. I <laughs> I understand that completely. Yeah. It's always dream of being like, oh my God, if I could get there on the couch with some sweatpants mm. and watch it back or something like that. And it is, you know, amazing to be there. But the dream is like, oh, I can't wait to be chilling at home in my comfort zone. So good. Right? Yes, in my home clothes. Yes, yes. And then, for some reason, when you are out and about at the awards, you end up in, like, photos and going viral. Like, I got one. Take a look at this. Sorry, you need to sit down, though. <laughs> They're always <laughs> hounding me. <laughs> How did that happen? Like, what, did you realize you were, like, in the shot, or? No, not at all. But Rory, my boyfriend, uh, like, all his high school friends were like, we could see you in the background. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, I, I'm in all the uh, viral um, photographs. What's the other one? Is like Jay Z, Cardi B, and me hanging out, obviously. Yeah, and there you are again. The three of us, three musketeers. That's what I call. Them. So you didn't feel the camera on you at all? Oh, not at all. I'm clueless. Or maybe I did, and I was like. You know. Okay, but see, then this is what I wonder. I so now that this keeps happening to you, do you now have a special pose prepared for when you just happen to be in the shot, like, you know, for in the event you get caught in in, in the photos? That's a really good idea. I think it's I a good idea. Be like, be prepared. You know, my mom for years, someone told her this is the way to smile in pictures so mm -hmm. that you don't show wrinkles, and it looks crazy. So like, all the pictures of my mom are like this. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's crazy. <laughs> Smiles always look good on your face. It doesn't matter, like, if wrinkles, anything, it doesn't matter. But you, when you're smiling, you look good. So. You're good. So next time, you're just smiling. You'll be ready for your viral moments, for sure. OK, now, so you're working on it. I like it. Yeah. Keep Wait, that. Just call me. Keep that. Hey, Sarah. You see that? Okay. So next time, it ain't about the person that's in the front. It's about you know, your whole <laughs> moment, and you steal, you steal the photo. I love me some animals. I love this new show you're hosting, Stupid Petrix. Tell everyone about it. It's the Letterman bit, Stupid Petrix. Mm -hmm. And he called up and was like, we, we want to do a show. Will you host it? And I was, I would do anything for him. I was just so excited <laughs> to be on the phone with him. And um, what is that hair? What's my hair doing? <laughs> anyway, it looks like I'm wearing, like, kind of wearing headphones. But, um... <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm adorable. I'm strong and my body works. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and, and it's been so fun to do something that has no politics, no anything. It's actually for the whole family. Like, we made... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it was so fun. I love animals. Mm -hmm. I, like, anytime I'm sad or spiraling, I just watch, like... Me too. Yeah. Unlikely animal friendships. That's what I type in, and then the next three hours I'm in heaven. So I just really liked it. We obviously, the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that these animals were taken care of, yes. were 
healthy, were treated well. I mean, to the point where people would be, you know, like the, the wranglers would be like, the cat needs to rest. And we'd be like, okay, the oh. cat needs to rest. Like, you know, I mean, we didn't want to do anything. They get breaks. Wrong. Yeah. I love that. And um, well, there's a whole backstage kind of B story to each. There's like the regular stupid pet tricks like you see. And then, like you saw me in the clip, like to go to the writer's room, all the writers are animals. and. That part I loved because it's so lo-fi. Like they just gave them whatever their treat they like, a carrot, and they ate it, chewed it, and then the the actors would put the voices in. Like you you know it's not really, you know animals <laughs> can't talk, right? But it's so um, it's just really fun. It's genuinely funny. We were really laughing, and I realized like for the whole family, it's like people like me and their kids. Like I was excited about it, and um, just the fact that I think. Thinking about um, unlikely animal friendships in that way, to me, it is not political, but it's about us. Mm -hmm. Like, if they can get along, we should be able to get along. It's yes. Ridiculous. I always think that. I'm like, yeah. come on, the animals can get along. Okay, I have to ask: Is has there been any animals that's been on there that you were afraid of? No, um, no, not really. I mean, we had spiders. Mm, that would that would be afraid. Spider I didn't have a problem with because no. spiders are our friends. But, and cockroaches, I try to... I even like house flies. Like, we have flies fly. in the house, and I, I don't like killing them. I don't want to kill them. I just try to, like, right. point them out the door. Yes, yes. And uh, I think, you know what I think I love about house flies? I, somewhere along the line, I learned that they only live 24 hours. Right. And I just thought that was so like beautiful and heartbreaking and poetic. It just made me love them. Okay. Then my boyfriend was like, are you sure they only live 24 hours? And I was so mad, like, oh yeah, you should probably Google it, because what do I know? I'm just a girl. <laughs> and he backed off like, I'm, no, I'm sorry, you're right. But I did look it up and they live about a month. Whatever, it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, you know we had the pet psychic on the show to talk about my cat. Have you ever spoken to one? I did, actually. You did? I don't usually buy into that stuff, and I kind of still don't. Um, yeah, but I have either. to say, I hired this pet psychic. It's so embarrassing. And she was telling me all about my dog. And then she said, um, he misses this yellow bowl with a blue rim. And I'm like, oh, wow, really? And she left, and I was like, I don't have a yellow bowl with a blue mm -hmm. rim. She's so full of crap. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And then I told my sister about it, and she would watch my dog at the time, Duck, for me, and she said, I feed him in a yellow bowl with a blue rim. And I Ooh. was like, whoa. Wow. Yeah. So it's truth to that. I mean, maybe, because I don't know what's true anymore. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.